Alright, hi guys, it's Brennan from Ultimate RC Bros. Today I'm going to do a review and a cleaning video for my RC, which is the Traxxas Slash. Alright, so, first thing is the review. So if you were to be, if you were a beginner for RC, this is the car to get. I have had it since September. It's my only RC since that, that's my only RC. So I have broken it twice in, I think, six months. So, very good car. Two parts that I broke on it were um, my back A-arm, my front A-arm, and my front turnbuckle. So, the only upgrade I did on this and probably will ever do on this is the RPM A-arms, which you can kind of see right in here. I got I do both sides. I broke this side right here. The only times that I've broken it, I've hit a curb at full speed. So, if you were to get an RC, avoid curbs. I know it's the... Uh, RC car's worst nightmare is the curb. The worst place for you to hit. So, um, let me think. If you were a uh, beginner, this is the car to get. Very durable. Um, per, it's a good speed for a beginner. I was a beginner. I handled it very well. I'm going to get Rustler in the future. I'm going to max it out. Theme's color is going to be green. So, um, that will take a little bit because I don't have a job. I need to save up for the money. Um, but that thing will be pretty cool. I'm going to make that thing go 70 miles per hour, which will be pretty fun. So, if you were to get this car, this car is a basher. And it can take anything. I haven't broken it bashing at all. It's just the street use, which is it's not that fast. But, I mean, it's fast for if you were to first start the RC and you didn't know anything about it, this thing is pretty fast. But it's the slowest that Traxxas makes them goes about 30 miles per hour and if you put a two cell on it put the lipo um the uh... low car what was it the high vo low voltage detection on it put a lipo on it it'll go about 40 miles per hour uh, battery's hot so i just came up i just came back in from um... outside bashing it's pretty nice out today it's actually 50 degrees which is warm up north here um... alright so xo5 titan 12t perfect beginner's car for anybody who's starting. Um, all the parts are durable. Everything's waterproof. If you don't know that, Traxxas, everything is waterproof. They give you the warnings. Probably my favorite. This is my favorite uh, company. I look at every other company and everything on YouTube. So, I'm usually on YouTube looking up. I do, uh, I, like, uh, study the cars before I actually buy them, which is my wrestler. I've watched pretty much every video possible. I know on um, Draven, I don't know the numbers, but Draven, he's very, he's a very cool wrestler. He's got like two or three wrestlers. He's going with the Mamba Monster, which is pretty cool. Not for me, though. I right, still have the Valenia on. I entered, uh, um, if you subscribe to him and, uh, find a code, you're qualified to win, uh, Valenia and a QR1 or a new wrestler VXL. Hopefully I can get the Russell VXL. I don't know. The codes are for certain things. Nobody knows what um, which code goes to what. So, now it's the cleaning video. Hold on. Let me get my cleaning supplies. Alright. Alright, so what I use to clean is paintbrushes. I got different sizes because paintbrushes are pretty good for, especially the big one for uh, knocking all the dirt off. Plus all the little um, holes in here are perfect for uh, just putting the dirt in. It comes right out on the table. Um, and Q-tips. You need Q-tips. Q-tips. So um, I also have in the garage right now a um, it's um, WD-40. WD-40, yeah, WD-40. That is perfect. You gotta spray all your metal parts down or everything will rust because they don't come with stainless steel screws, I don't think. No. And I drenched this thing in water, but I'm not gonna be using it for too long because getting that rust. So this is gonna be my sister's. It's gonna be pretty funny though she's gonna wreck this. Alright, so first things first is I always clean out the shocks because, um, most important part in the car to me. So you just get in between 
the shocks, you know, just like painting. Sometimes you have to get really into the shocks because it gets uh, really dirty depending on um, where you were bashing, which I was just bashing outside on the grass and dirt, but it's dry out there, so there's no uh, mud getting in, which I hate the mud. Trust me, it's the worst place. It's the worst thing. Um, everything's actually pretty clean right now on the shocks and everything. Now, um, pretty much just wipe the chassis down with a paintbrush. Uh, oh yeah, and um, the battery, after a while, I have a nickel metal because uh, I don't really want to get a lipo for this because I don't really need it right now just for quick bashing, but um, wrap it up with, um, let me take it out, wrap it up with electrical tape because it gets pretty worn out. You need to use the pad in there because this is the uh, cell right here, but wrap it up in electrical tape and I put a little Traxxas sticker. Um, I'm going to put certain Traxxas stickers on every one of my batteries so I can d identify them. So it's pretty warm right now. I should probably go put that on the charger after. Radio on this thing is too, it's pretty, um, I like it, contours with your hand here, and, uh, pretty nice. I want to get the, uh, my Russell, I want to get the docking base and the sensors, so I know which speed it's going, so I don't need to buy a Garmin on it, because, like I said, I don't have that much money on me, because I don't have a job, so I just have to save up over time. It'll take a while to max out my, um, Rustler. For my birthday, I may get an Exceed RC. I think it's the Mad Speed Drift King. Yeah. And I'm going to have it uh, brushless edition with the lights. So, and anyway, like I said, just, just brush the chassis down. The wheels, too. Get the wheels. I don't know what you can see because the wheels are probably pretty dirty. Also, another good thing is to use and cleaning it down, which I don't have right now because I use it all. It's compressed air. So you can um, get the nozzle on it, spray in the motor, spray everywhere, and just knock all that uh, dirt off. So, all right, so Austin, my uh, YouTube partner that we're sharing the channel, he has the Russell VXL, which is a pretty nice car. He's got a two-cell light before it. It increases the speed by a little bit. It does wheelies on um, very rough surfaces because it gets good grip. But he, he uh, has a lot of aluminum upgrades, so, yep, I'm not upgrading this thing at all. There's really no use for that, unless this is your car. If you upgraded this, let's say you didn't want the XL5 anymore and you upgraded to a Valenion, I can understand, I can understand um, upgrading that, but it's different when you have an XL5 in it. Oh, and um, Austin and I are working on a project. We're building an Axial SCX-10 Jeep Wrangler, which we'll trick that thing out. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna go trail trucking and rock crawling. I'm not sure about the rock crawling part, but I think it's rock crawler. I'm not sure. It's his car, like I said. So, um, Q-tips get in between the wheels underneath the wheels, in the wheels. Yep, just, just do this, you know. I'm not going to really do this right now, because I don't, I don't want the video to be too long. Um, if you have any questions about Traxxas Slash, VXL, regular Traxxas Slash, what cars to get, um, you can comment below. Also, subscribe down there. Hit that little plus button if you have a channel. No. And um, we're going to come out, Austin and I are coming out with tons of RCs. We're going to get a lot throughout the years. And once I get that rustler, I'm going to be doing speed run videos. And if you have any tips on that, how to make that go faster, or tips on how to make this go faster, or good batteries for this, any tips in general that would be very helpful. Any parts that I could get for that rustler that are pretty good, that'll help 
it be more durable. It'll be good. And, yep, that's pretty much it. Alright, so, thanks for watching. And, um, subscribe. And comment below. And like or dislike. Whichever way will help us out on how good our videos are. If you have any questions on cleaning certain parts, like I know the servo, I forgot to do other parts like that. Q-tips, paintbrushes, and WD-40 are great things to use to clean your RC after a dirty day bashing. Alright, thanks!